I think that Vartangov recognized a certain sensitivity, a certain musicality, certain receptivity and expressivity of these nations. That's why most of his troupe, all of his leading actors were Jewish under Russian surnames because he insisted that they change their last names. He said, you're a Russian actor, it's Russian theater, you're going to carry a Russian name. So Lisenberg, Lisenson would become Lvova, uh, Yoffa would become Talchanov, Kabakova would become Remizova, right? So all of them were, you know, and so on and so forth. So a lot of this great Sinelnikova was, of course, no Sinelnikova. I mean, but they were, you know what? I actually witnessed some of Vartangov's original actors on stage. They were in their 80s. It was Sinelnikova and Lvova. And although Sinelnikova was, was a very distinguished actress, Lvova was, was a kind of never considered to be a great actress. But the energy that they carried on the stage, the sense of kind of the temperament, the kind of almost spiritual sense of purpose that they had was overwhelming. Especially with Sinelnikova. I saw the first generation of Vartangov actors on stage yet. And how to be truthful and huge is something that nobody really can. It's either truthful and small or huge and fake. And they could be truthful and huge. Because you never sensed their sense of truth. You never questioned their sense of truth. And at the same time, they could be huge on stage. And, of course, that conveyed to some of the later generations, although it became extinct gradually, kind of.